Hi everybody, Jean back with more Mars Anomalies. Hope you're all doing well. This is a Saturn Arc Raptor Zone collaboration and we're returning to Asimov's blocks on Mars in color. The photograph we're analyzing is called Central Pit Gullies in Asimov Crater and I'll include the link below. IRISE acquired this image on the 26th of May 2009 at a resolution of 25 centimeters per pixel and I'll be showing you images cropped from the merged RGB no map file. This is a crop from the low res JPEG. We're going to be checking out these anomalies and artifacts that my friend Saturn Arc discovered. I'll include a link to his channel below. This area is located 46.85 degrees south, 4.94 degrees east. And we're going to be checking out the anomalies in this rather strange gully over here. It looks as if uh, Asimov might have been a very watery place. And uh, these gullies could have been filled with water. We'll have a look at some of the other anomalies that we found towards the end of the video. So the first anomalies we're checking out are these megalithic blocks or slabs. We're looking at this almost hexagonal block with straight edges and uh, geometric angles. This block measures about 10 by 10 by 10 on each side. You can see the photograph is a little grainy, so there's a little bit of JPEG artifacts on this on these photographs. So you can see the surface is relatively smooth, but the straight edges and a right angle over there really grabbed our attention. And we're looking at this strange artifact to the right which is about 20 meters long and about, let's see, 8 meters wide very similar in proportion to the pregnant woman of Baalbek in Lebanon it's got uh, two types of material on it by the looks of it this really shiny white material and then uh, megalithic type uh, stone with a sort of a square cut into the one side. We've got straight edges over there and right angles. Could this have been some type of um, sculpture which toppled over? And over here, another huge megalithic block. It's about 20 meters long by about 12 meters across. And uh, if we zoom in, we can see the surface is very smooth. It looks as if it has machine marks in it. That's highly speculative on our part. But uh, it does have a slot cut into the one end over there. Check that out. And then also strange um, sort of part to the left little cone on it also it looks as if this may have been plaster it's really bright reflective substance so could it be that the plaster has uh, come off the surface we can see a little bit of white dust around there so could that have been like cement or plaster covering these? And we're looking at this huge anomaly over there, which is about 25 meters across, and also covered in this white substance, almost like cement. And uh, what really looks strange is these two rectangular parts over here 
and the 90 degree angles and then this piece over here seems to have some type of maybe symbols on it check it those running through diagonally across there and uh, more megalithic blocks or tiles and slabs very similar to those on Kanowski Pyramid also discovered by my friend Saturn Ark these are all about 8 by 8 meters so let's check out some of the blocks in this area and uh, there's what looks like either a partially buried block or a rectangular pillar it measures about eight or six meters long and uh, the side that we can see is about one and a half to two and a half meters thick that was discovered by one of my uh, Facebook friends he highlighted that anomaly so check that out about six to eight meters long one and a half to two and a half meters thick and it also looks as if um, the one side may be a little darker than uh, the bottom side maybe two materials put together yeah we're looking at these megalithic blocks or slabs we zoom in we see straight edges flat sides right angle there and this piece over here seems to be slightly curved a little dark protrusion over there in what looks like a circular raised part looking at these blocks or tiles perhaps measures about 8 by 8 meters straight edges there and the right angle yeah we're looking at these megaliths this one looks almost like a rectangular pillar we can see straight edges relatively smooth surfaces and then uh, this block which has a v-shape cut into the one side with smaller parts on top now we're looking at more what might be slabs or pillars yeah we've got um, an arrangement of uh, larger blocks or slabs next to one another this one slightly curved straight edge on this one and a 90 degree angle over there we've got a smaller part on the left and over here we've got a one two three four five sided part which seems to fit into that circular part now we're looking at these strange uh, objects they're about 10 meters long and uh, also covered in this bright white material look at the shadow being cast over here definitely looks as if uh, this is stepped also right angles and straight edges on those we're looking at these blocks the straight one over here measures about six meters long this one over here by about a meter a meter and a half wide there we've got a v-shaped piece with straight edges as well and a right angle there's another one of these almost hexagonal blocks the dark 
spot in the middle, possibly a hole that's been drilled in that piece. Over here, it looks like a little donut shape lying in the middle of this partially buried one. Here's another V or delta shape cutting to the face of this one. So this is uh, really interesting, a lot of anomalies in this uh, gully, possibly dislodged, covered in sand initially, dislodged and then rolled down the slope to the bottom of the gully. So here we're looking at this strange cube, what looks like an oval sphere next to it. This cube measures about 5 by 5 meters and uh, this piece, this rounded part, is about 4 meters across. You can see two of the sides here and then another flattened dome-like part on this side. We're looking at this piece, which is about 12 meters long, also covered in this uh, sort of bright cement, plaster type of material. We've got a rectangular part cut in there, carved into that side, and running along the top. We've got what looks like a pipe, goes over the edge and underneath. Now we're looking at this block, which is about, I'd say, 14 meters long, and a smooth surface, and then two ridge lines on it with what looked like glyphs or symbols in a row next to one another. Check that out there. Looking at that block. It also looks rather unusual, especially because of this one side. Yeah, still covered in this white substance or material. Very flat. And then uh, running through the center We've got one, two, three, four, maybe five of these darker carved in areas with what looked like possibly symbols or glyphs on it. Then another block of here to the right, straight edges and a right angle. This um, Artifact which is about six meters wide by about ten meters long and in the center we've got a shadow cast by what looks like it could be a type of a pipe as well comes down here bends up that way comes down bends that way again and continues down this way so some geometry and symmetry in that smaller part. And then this block, <coughs> which measures about 12 by 12 meters. Smooth surface and uh, strange parts on top. Not sure if those could be glyphs or symbols either. So do, uh, do let us know in the comments below what you guys and girls make of these anomalies. Now we're looking at these two artifacts. And uh, this one is of uh, special interest. It's got a really straight edge on it and that's about 15 meters long. Check out the straight edge on this. And then this piece goes down at 90 degrees. Next to it, I have here another one of these little donut 
part and uh, this could that be um, an oblong carved in area or is that dark purple or blue um, paint it's difficult to tell and then uh, also all the strange surface features on this one check out that straight edge about 10 meters long by about 6 to 8 meters wide check at the smooth surface and uh, it's very rounded in shape almost symmetrical Okay, yeah, we're looking at this little piece of here. Yeah, it looks like another pillar, perhaps, or a support column with strange parts on the side there. That's about 10 meters long by about 2 meters thick. And okay, yeah, we're looking at these anomalies partially covered in dust and sand as well and uh, this piece seems to have a circular pattern on it and then in the center what seems to be a circular hole okay so yeah we're looking at this block over here which is about six meters long by about hmm, five meters this way it's almost triangular straight edges and a rounded corner yeah it's a relatively smooth flat surface check out this and that there totally out of place this little block over here and uh, that measures about five by six meters you can see two of the sides here that block over there a little bit bigger this one's about eight meters across It's very smooth surfaces on it. Check at the bevel running through here. Straight edges, right angles to it as well. And this part here seems to be carved out. Almost like a top of a container perhaps. And then this could be very natural but uh, because of the symmetry and geometry I found this to be rather interesting it's about let's see 10 meters across and we've got one two three four five six sides to it uh, it looks like sides of uh, triangular sides of a pyramid with these two slightly eroded away I get that dark triangular part there so that concludes the presentation let's go over to Mars on Google and specifically to Asimov and we looked at these anomalies these are just some of them So let's check out some of the other artifacts in this area. We've got it looks like a massive monolith about 75 meters long and 33 meters wide. Very similar in aspect ratio to the monolith from 2001, a space odyssey. 
And here we found more blocks. Check this out. Very smooth surfaces and straight edges. This looks like an arch with the sun shining through left to right. You see three of the sides. And then more blocks which look as if they're part of a retaining wall. There's one that's come loose, about 10 by 10 meters as well. So with that said, this is the end of the video. Thanks again for watching.